have a good day to everyone around the world. My video today is about the International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from SIPS 7378. Please click the subscribe button so that you will be notified on my, on my next videos. This is my Marpol video 5, Annex 5, part 1. This is the prevention of pollution by, by garbage from ships. Entered into force on December 31, 1988. Introduction. After viewing this video, you will be able to explain equipment for garbage disposal, state the principles in reporting pollution by garbage, explain practices in garbage pollution prevention, identify spatial areas and requirements for disposal outside spatial areas, illustrate proper way of garbage segregation Enter records to the garbage record book. Describe procedure in collecting, processing, storage, and disposal of garbage. And you will be able to discuss the effect of garbage pollution. Overview. Marpol and X5 deals with different types of garbage and specifies the distances from land and the man manner in which they may be disposed of. Garbage means all kinds of victual, domestic and operational waste, excluding fresh piece and parts thereof, generating during the normal operation of the ship and liable to be disposed of continuously or periodically or accept those substances which are defined or listed in other annexes to the present convention. Effect of garbage. Garbage from chips can be just as deadly to marine life as oil or chemicals. The greatest danger comes from plastic which can float for years. Fish and marine mammals can, in some cause, mistake plants plastic for food, and they can also become trapped in plastic ropes, nets, bugs, and other items. Even such oconious items as the plastic rings used to hold cans for beer and drinks together. Reporting an incident. Under Article 8, reports an incidents involving harmful substances. Number one, a report of an incident shall be made without delay to the fullest extent possible in accordance with the provisions of Protocol 1 to the present convention. Number two, each party to the convention shall, letter A, make all arrangements necessary for an appropriate officer or agency to receive and process all reports and incidents. And letter B, notify the organization with complete details of such arrangement for circulation to other parties and member states of the organizations or IMO. Under Article 8, reports and incidents involving harmful substances. Three, whether a party receives a report under the provisions of the present article, that party shall relay the report without delay to the administration of the seat involved and any other states which may be affected. 
Number four, each party to the convention undertakes to issue instructions to its maritime inspection vessels and aircraft and to other appropriate services to report to its authorities any incident referred to in protocol two to this present convention. Practices on board to prevent pollution. Not throwing anything overboard. Having secure bins or garbage bags to store garbage on board until you return to shore. Buying stores in bulk to reduce the amount of packaging taken on board. Using reusable airtight containers to store foods. Using crockery or reusable cups, plates, and cutlery, and making the efforts to retrieve lost or damaged piecing gears. And retrieving garbage if it does end in the water. Disposal of garbage, special areas. We have the Mediterranean Sea area, Baltic Sea, Black Sea, Red Sea area, Gulf area, North Sea, Antarctic area, and the wider Caribbean region. Guidelines for the implementation of Annex 5 new garbage regulation effective January 1, 2013. For plastic, including ropes, nets, and plastic bags, or are disposable up are prohibited to be disposed on the sea. For floating damage, lining and packing materials, outside the spatial area in inside except platforms, offshore disposal prohibited in all areas. Ground down, paper products, rugs, glass, metal, bottles, rockery and support in all areas disposal is prohibited. Number four, paper products, drugs, glass, metal, bottles, crockery, and so forth. In all areas, disposal is prohibited. Food waste. Outside the spatial area except platform can be disposed more than 12 miles offshore. For offshore platform, disposal is prohibited. For pod waste, comminuted or ground, outside the spatial area except platform, can be disposed at more than mile, three miles offshore. In spatial areas except platform, can be disposed 12 miles offshore and in offshore platforms, disposal is prohibited. Guidelines for implementation of an X5. Comminuted or ground garbage must be able to pass through a screen with a mesh size no longer than 25 millimeters. Spatial areas are defined in Mark and X5 Regulation 5 as amended. Offshore platform and associated ships include all peaks or floating platforms engaged in exploration or exploitation of the seabed mineral resources and all ships along, alongside or within 500 meters of such platform. When garbage is mixed with other harmful substance having different disposal or discharge requirements, the more stringent requirements shall apply. 
disposal within spatial area. For the purpose of this annexed spatial areas, the Mediterranean Sea, Baltic Sea, and others, which are defined as follows. Mediterranean, Mediterranean Sea area means the Mediterranean Sea proper, including the Gulf and seas therein with the boundaries between the Mediterranean and Black Sea, constituted by the 41 degrees north parallel and bounded to the west by Straits of Gibraltar at the meridian 5 degrees 36 minutes west. Baltic Sea area means the Baltic uh, Sea proper with Gulf of Botnia and the Gulf of Finland and the entrance to the Black Sea bounded by the parallel of Skau and Skadir Rock at 15 degrees, 44.8 minutes north. The Black Sea area means the Black Sea proper with the boundaries between the Mediterranean and Black Sea, constituted by the parallel 41 degrees north. For the Red Sea area, means the Red Sea proper, including the Gulf of Suez, Aqaba, bounded by the south, by the ramp line between Ras, Sian, 12 degrees, 28.5 minutes north, 43 degrees, 29.6 point east, and Hasmurad, 12 degrees, 40.4 minutes north, 40 degrees, 30.2 east. The Gulf's area means the sea located with northwest of the ramp line between Ras Al Had, 22 degrees, 30 minutes north, 59 degrees, 48 minutes east, and Ras Al Paste, 44, 25 degrees, 4 minutes north, and 61 degrees, 25 minutes east. In the North Sea area, means the North Sea proper, including seas therein with the boundaries between the North Sea southward of latitude 62 degrees north. The Antarctic area means the sea south of latitude 63 degrees south. The wider Caribbean region as defined in Article 2, Paragraph 1 of the Convention for the Protection and Development of Marine Environment of the Wider Caribbean Region, Cartagena de Angels in 1983, means the Gulf of Mexico and Caribbean Sea proper, including the base and seas therein, and that portion of the Atlantic Ocean. Within the boundary constituted by the 30 degrees north parallel and Florida east to 77 degrees 30 minutes west. Subject to the provisions of regulation 4, 5, and 6 of this annex, the disposal into the sea of all plastics, including but not limited to synthetic groups, synthetic fishing nets, and plastic garbage bags is prohibited. B, the disposal into the sea of the following garbage is prohibited effective January 1, 2013, 2013 Marple and X5, new garbage regulation, dunning, lining, and packing, paper products, rugs, glass, metal, and bottles, Grocery incinerated ashes and similar refuse. 
when the garbage is mixed with other dis discharges having different disposal or discharge requirements, the more stringent requirements shall apply. This is an example picture of garbage disposed or discharged into the sea. Control of disposal discharges. Many items can be degraded by the sea, but this process can take months or years as the following table shows. For paper, bus ticket, two to four weeks. For cotton cloth, one to five months. For ropes, three to 14 months. For woolen cloth, one year. Painted wood, 13 years. Tin can, 100 years. Aluminum can, 200 to 500 years. And for plastic bottle, it takes 400 50 years. For shipboard incineration, the Marine Environmental Protection Committee, 40th season, session on 18 to 25 September 1997, adopted a special specification for shipboard incinerators. This specification covers design, manufacture, perfor performance, operation, and testing of incinerator design to incinerate garbage and other shipboard waste. More strict regulation with regards to pollution of the sea limits and in some instances completely bans the discharge of untreated wastewater, sewage waste oil and sludge. The ultimate situation of no discharge can be achieved by the use of suitable incinerator. When used in conjunction with a sewage plant with facilities for burning oil sludge, the incinerator forms complete waste disposable package. This is a picture of a big incinerator. Use of incinerator. This garbage incinerator is used for industrial and household waste, biological and agricultural waste, and dehydrated mud and meat. Shipboard incinerator. In general, the use of incinerator garbage in port in or near urban areas should be discouraged as their use will add to possible air pollution in these areas. The combustion chamber is vertical, lined with refractory materials an auxiliary oil-fired burner. A rotating drum device clears ash and combustible material into an ash hopper. The loading door is interlocked to stop the fan when burner open. Solid material, usually in sacks, is burned by an automatic cycle of of operation, liquid waste is stored in a tank, heated and then pumped to the sludge burner where it is burned in an automatic cycle. Table 4 present option for incineration for garbage including considerations for a special of vessel personnel combustibility and reduction of volume, residual materials, exhaust and board storage space. In contracts to the land-based incinerator, shipboard incineration must be as compact as practicable and with operating personnel 
at the premium automotive operation is desirable. Letter C, commercial marine incinerators, currently available, vary greatly in size, having natural or induced craft, and are hand-fired. Some of the advantages of the most advanced incinerators they include that they operate under negative pressure. They are highly reliable since they have few moving parts. They require minimal operator skill. They are low in weight and they have low exhaust and external skin temperatures. Special considerations for incinerator. Some of the disadvantages of incinerators may include the possible hazardous nature of the ash or vapor, dirty operation, excessive labor required for charging, stocking, and ash removal, and they may not meet air pollution regulations imposed in certain harbor. Certain ship classifications studies have established requirements for the operation or construction of incinerators. Information on the development and utilization of marine garbage incinerator systems for shipboard should be forwarded to the organization or IMO. These are special requirements for disposal. Number one, subject to the provisions of paragraph two of this regulation, the disposal of any materials regulated by this annex is prohibited from fixed or floating platforms engaged in the exploration exploitation and associated offshore processing of the seabed mineral resources and from all other ships when alongside or within 500 meters of such platform. The disposal into the sea of old waste may be permitted when they have been passed through a comminuted or grinded from such peaks or floating platforms located more than 12 nautical miles from land and all other ships when alongside of 500 meters of such platform. In accordance with Regulation 9 of Annex 5 of the International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships, 1973, as modified by the Protocol of 1978, a record is to be kept of its discharge operation or completed incineration. This includes discharges at sea, to reception facilities, or to other ships. Garbage includes all kinds of food, domestic and operational waste, including fresh fish and parts thereof, generated during the normal operation of the vessel and liable to be disposed of continuously or periodically, except the substance which are defined or listed in other annexes to Marpola. 73, 78, such as oil, sewage, or noxious liquid substances. The guidelines for the implementation of Annex 5 of MARPOL 2378 should also be referred to for relevant information. Entries 
shall be made in each of the following occasions. When garbage is discharged into the sea, you must have to record the date and time of discharge, the position of the ship in latitude and longitude for cargo res residue discharges include discharge, start, and stop operation, category of garbage discharge, estimated amount discharge for each category in cubic meters, and the signature of the officer in charge of the operation. Entries also shall be made when garbage is discharged to reception facilities assured or to other ships. You must have to record the date and time of discharge, the port or facility or name of the ship, the category of garbage discharge, estimated amount discharge for each category in cubic meters, and to be signed by the officer in charge of the operation. Entries also shall be made in the garbage record book. If garbage is incinerated, you must have to record the date. You must have to record the date, time of the start and the stop of incineration, the position of the ship in latitude and longitude, estimated amount incinerated in cubic meters, and the signature of the officer in charge of the operation. For accidental or other exceptional discharges of garbage, you must have to record the time of occurrence, the port or position of the ship at the time of occurrence, the estimated amount and category of garbage, and you must have to record the circumstances of disposal, escape or loss, therefore, and general remarks. This is the end of my video. Thank you for viewing this video. My next video will be Marpol Annex 6, Marpol Annex 5, Part 2. Please click the subscribe button so that you will be informed on my next videos. Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone. This is Chief Engineer Jose Garcia Bogan, PhD. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel to view my next videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.